As the state reopens, the South Carolina House Committee heard testimony on business and employment recovery from the coronavirus. And as News 19's Jacob Reynolds tells us, DHEC and the Department of Employment and Workforce had a warning for legislators. In a roughly two-hour meeting, House lawmakers reviewed the economic and public health impact of COVID-19, including an update from DHEC. DHEC says in the month of June alone, they conducted 171,675 tests and were seeing an increase in cases. Brandon Traxler also had a warning for young people, putting themselves and others at risk. This really is something where this is a chance for the young adults and teenagers to step up and be leaders, um, be the generation that shows that they can wear masks and that it is cool to do um, and you know they can still live their lives but they just need to do it from that six foot distance his chairman said and and while wearing masks um, to decrease the risk the department of employment and workforce says since the pandemic began about 25 percent of south carolina's workforce has used the unemployment system about 618,000 people now, Director Dan Ellsley says new claims each week are about double what they were in the economic recession of 2009. And it does not look like we're going to get any relief from it anytime soon, because I can tell you the official numbers come out tomorrow. We can't mention them until then, but they're not great. They're, they, we are in a decrease, at least. It's not going back up, but, but they're certainly not great. DEW says they're paying out about $40 million a week in state funds and could run out of money by December in the worst case scenario. LZ said they've decreased call hold times and call center staff are still being trained to answer more questions. And he announced the extended benefits program began Wednesday. It offers up to 10 weeks of benefits to individuals whose regular benefit year ended on or after June 14, 2020. In Columbia, Jacob Reynolds, News 19, WLTX. If the Department of Employment and Workforce ran out of money, it would need to borrow from the government and potentially raise unemployment taxes on businesses, which lawmakers say they want to avoid. Currently, there's $685 million in the trust fund.